I'm an arrow down now? <laughs> Ooh, I, I'm sure I've met this before, but I am no good with heights. Wait, hold on. I think there's something down there. <sighs> I guess we means we have to take the plunge after all, huh? Indeed. Let's go! And we got a oh, dark nut! How unfitting! This is a very bad place for a dark nut to be! If we can hit him good enough. Let me just do this, come on! There we go! <laughs> Don't have to defeat him, just knock him off! Actually, now that we're here. Yeah, that is the blue portal! We take the blue portal, we go right back to the start, which actually means I can actually go get that chest I missed, it, missed earlier. Let's go get that real quick. And thanks to our rocks cape, we don't need to actually, we can circumvent somewhat that puzzle of getting around on the bridges. So after we get this little chest I missed earlier, we can uh, go and do that thing we need earlier and continue on with the dungeon here. Just get rid of these pea hats again as usual. Yeah, I hear you. Right, let's go get that chest here. It's all the way back where we got the rock's feather, or the rock's cape, so let's head back that way real quick. And since we do have the rock's cape, we can circumvent some of the puzzles early on here, so not too big of a breaker. Ah, no! Oh, okay, I messed up. Okay! <laughs> I was trying to br sequence break the game, and it failed, and failed miserably. And the music for this dungeon is actually okay. I don't think it's the best Zelda. I don't think it's the best music. It's just more of like it's more echoey than it's actually a melody. You know, it's trying to hit that whole thing that you're so high up and it's daunting because you're so high up in the sky. I don't find it very all that catchy to be honest. And I don't care if something just blew up in my face. <laughs> Let's go this way. Like, we saw this earlier, and, uh, didn't take advantage of it, because I didn't have the rocks cape at the time, but we can jump down here now. Yeah, and I just I knew it was a keystone chest, so we weren't missing on much. Alright, now we need to head back the way we went, and, uh, get... Uh, get back to that place, and so we can actually get out of here. Or continue on with the dungeon itself. I'll cut myself out of this one here. Come on, where is that platform? There's our platform. Hello there. Platform of platform goodness. Now we need to walk back our same pathway. Like a so. Then we can just push this brick here in case we need to jump back. Booyah! All right, now we're back here. Let's go jump. Back to the middle. <laughs> dancing skeletons. They're not dancing skeletons, trade part. They are jumping skeletons. Much different. <laughs> How much farther do we have to go? This place goes on forever. Ah, there's no point in complaining about it. We must press full onward. After all, how much more could there be? Come on, Ezra, let's go. We got more dungeon to take care of. Yeah, this is what I'd say about. Even the game is complaining about the dungeon being too big. <laughs> when you have a game, when, when the game self references the length of a dungeon, you know something is usually wrong. And we got our compass at long last, so now we can actually get some dance time or uh, some uh, distance to find out where items are. And there's another skeleton with the. Also, get those apparently. Ah, no! No! Me. I don't want hugs. Don't do not know what social distancing is. <laughs> Gibdo <laughs> means get nowhere near me. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good here. Where's over here? Probably nothing as usual. Oh, there's another Gibdo. No. I'm gonna burn you. I'm gonna burn you. There you go. It'd be much easier if that was a fire rod, but again, fire rod was originally supposed to be in this game, but uh, the the flame lantern took over both uh, roles. And we got more blue choo choos. Again, this is the only time you see them in the game, other than the, other than the temple of droplets. So technically, 
it can't so one of these blue choo choos dropped out of the temp out of this temple and fell down on the temple of droplets immediately where we were at if that's con if that's highly convenient i don't know what is <laughs> we drop down here we get our key for our trouble now i think in the manga the the, the dungeon was actually shortened i think if I recall correctly. Also, it's where uh, Link learns how to jump too, as well. There's also where he gets the rock tape in that game, in that manga as well. So that's always good to know on that one. Get out of here, you... You pee hats You caused me all kinds of grief. Alright, this time we need to actively spread ourselves out on three different tiles, not in exactly in the same row. Oh no! Okay, I'll reset the room now, because that hit me, because that pee hat's in the way! Get out of here. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, there are three here. Spare ourselves across, and we get that to unlock the door. Now we're saying we have one key. That's right, we have one key, but we need two to continue on with the dungeon. And the rock's cape makes all these uh, puzzles a lot not much useful. Because again, you have the ability to jump. Jump is a very rare thing in Zelda games. It was only it was basically like the most praised thing in Breath of the Wild. It's like now you can jump! So we can take a little bit of a shortcut here. Oh no! We can jump a bit higher and just basically take our long journey this way. Go across here. Come on, hit that thing. There we go. We also move slower here, which I'm not sure as to why. It should be the same regardless. Same error as possible. We got more Gibdos. Burn you. Burn you. Might as well make it easier on my on my side of things. Just make sure you guys just die faster. We got more keys up here and a heart. We need to hit this uh, switch together. And that unlocks a shortcut to go back to the back here, if we so choose. So we're opening up our pathway here in the dungeon. This is where the real dungeon is, in a sense. Outside was just the courtyard. Now we're actually in the dungeon proper. Come back over this way. We can actually get a some pots here for some stuff. As well as we go down this way, we get introduction of the fiery wizard robes at long last. Actually, no. Actually, I thought this would be it. No, we get the wizard robes again. Kill two of them here. We get a kingstone for our troubles and a shortcut between the left side and the right side. Now that is now unlocked for us. Making that entire area we did earlier now completely pointless to travel back for. Right now we can move on this way. The right side is the right to go. More blue choo choos upon us. Again, they're electrified, so watch out for. Ow! I curse you! Magic boom right into the face. Now, this is where the fiery ones are. Also, they're not given a boss music for some reason, which is odd. Take them all down, and we get ourselves the last of the big chests. We got the map at long last. Let's take a look at that map, shall we? Look how big this place is. Five floors. And the chests that are up here, that are, uh, that's left, are in areas that we are continuing to go towards. Not bad at all. It means not much of backtracking. And wall masters. Oh, floor masters. I think they're floor masters. But again, they are weak to the arrow. Just take one arrow to the face, and they're dead. I think this is. I think this is the only game where the uh, the uh, the wall or floor masters are basically the weakest they've ever been. That's my that's my theory. I think anyway. Come on, this dungeon is taking forever. <laughs> Come on out. There you go. Nope. Okay. You avoid my arrow. You're gonna get burned. Stop running. 
There we go. Yeah, now you can't hug me. You don't have bandages around you now. Right there is a perfectly good opportunity to jump. We go out this way, and oh, look what we're getting. That piece of heart we saw earlier. Yep, there it is. That's how you get that bad boy. Luckily, the wall, the wall and floor masters are not there upon us. Ow, that's, that fire snake is in a very bad spot when entering this room, I swear. <laughs> I've hit it every time. Hmm, there is a door that's locked there. Oh, this actually is a pretty cool little uh, thing here. This detonator is swinging around. You need to use a projectile to blow him up to blow up the wall. I wish they used that more, but they don't use it very much. We got our bombs here. We'll just put a bomb down, chuck it over, and explode it. Opens up that chest right there. No problem. Whoop! No! <laughs> Curses! <laughs> Didn't jump far enough. <laughs> now I gotta make myself back there. Means I gotta deal with the fire snakes again. Da, 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 da. Again, that's three times in a row that fire snake does not need to be there. Annoyingly enemy placement. Not needed. Luckily, that chest is open up for us, so we'll just hit. I said hit it. 200 rupees, maxing out our rupee count for the first time. 999 rupees is all you get in this game. Nothing higher. Here you now it's actually I can jump across this with easy. There we go. If you come back this way, however, you want to. Because this is where we get our Ah Take care of you. Great, good. Grab our flame lantern, light these two up, and we get the red portal. So now we can get back here at any time we wish. More Gibdos. I mean, they love this Gibdo place. I mean, again, they hadn't used this enemy type uh, since the Royal Valley, so I guess they want to use it as much as they want. Come on, you. Yeah. We got a bomb wall. Might as well use our remote bombs and do some fun. <laughs> you come out here to this place, you got some fire whiz ropes. Put your bomb right there and blow up the wall. It's not completely obvious, but you actually come up here and you actually see there's a wall right here that you blow up earlier, but you can't see it from the opposite side. This room in particular, this room. If that switch ever triggers, that door closes. So what you have to do is be very, very careful walking around this place. Because if you hit the detonators, it might, might bump, bump you into the others as well, causing the switch to activate. Go. And we got the small key. Use the a lock door. And I think that is our last small key of this place. Perfect. Let's move forward. And now, I just blocked myself in. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's not block ourselves in now. But now we can do this. Blow his eyes up because I feel like catharsis of blowing stuff up. Fall down here and we can actually get access to the next room. And now there's a little battle gone, there's a little maze of sorts we need to use our rock's feather on, rock's cape. No! We push this rock here and we get ourselves probably a second to last chest of the dungeon here. Another keystone piece because it's mostly been keystone pieces. Because they've been very useful in fusions. Ice wizard robes do make their appearance here as well, so watch out for that as well. But your main problem is going to be the moblins, because they're the big enemies and they take up the most space. Wizard robes are blocked by the rocks themselves, and whoa! I think I glitched through the rock there, thinking the camera didn't know what to do with me. Interesting. There's a fairy there if we need it. 
and those up. Uh, you have multicolored tiles you see there are the only places you can push the rocks away. Which is like the only time they do in the entire game. Which is uh, interesting to boot. Jump this way. Oh boy, almost fell to my death. I'm gonna jump over here though. Cause there's another area on top of this spot right here. Hoo-ya! Perfect. And we get the last chest, which is a keystone piece. Not bad, not bad. I wish there were green ones though, because the ones we've been having failing them uh, to. Uh... There's also three red Stalfos here, Stealth Children, as you were. Just to be a jerk to you. Let's jump right back on down. And let's go up to the boss room. And facing the boss, which is probably the most, uh, not the most interesting boss name. But we got some flying fish to take care of. Yep, that's right. Flying fish. Which has the most unnecessary name of all time. Let's go fight George. This is Georg, or as they call it, Georg. But again, it's better to be now says call him as George. But there's a male and female. We're on the female right now, while the male is the blue one. What we have to do is form ourselves to be in a particular order of the eyes opening up. Hitting them like that will cause her to go blind for a while. And we have to jump onto the blue one here and take out one eye of him. We're also watching out for his tail to spin, so jump with your rock's cape to avoid it. <clears throat> He's, uh, his eyes open up and close very quickly, so watch out for that. But you can't be knocked off of the of there, but hey, we got put back on this one. Now the blue, uh, now the male one's going to be shooting these orbs at uh, at you. And again, those orbs hit any of your clones, they dis dissolve your uh, copying ability. So watch out for that, which makes this boss fight a little bit annoying. Which, to be fair, the male is trying to protect its female. You know, it's being territorial in its own right. And also, if you do get, if your clones do get hit, they you also lose health too. So, don't count as like a free ride or anything of that sort. Ah. You are being very annoying. To be fair. This is like the only time where this is actually going to get annoying, because after this, it actually gets easier. Watch out for his orb. There we go. Yes, you can actually jump onto his tail, which actually does hurt you still. Now the mother, now the female one, the female George, is now actually uh, producing babies. To make your life even more... Make Ugh. So now George, the male George, is now going to uh, fly around as it could possibly can in random patterns, which is all going to make it even harder for us to continue. But it's in, at some point, the male one will die and actually make this boss fight much easier after the fact. Come on, you! All right, come on now. Uh, this is the uh, the male's last stand because he's flying around here like none of his business, and he is down. Male George is down, and now it's time for the female only. The female's gonna keep producing babies out of her mouth there, which I think is her mouth. So that's the only thing we have to worry about now. So we can just move those out of the way and just go for her eyes. And that's it. Boss fight done. We're gonna crash! Ah! And uh, the Georgs, Georges, we're holding the last of the elements. We've got them all, folks! Do -do -do. You got the wind element! The wind carries the seeds of flowers scattering life across the land. The wind element is the embodiment of that power. Sweet! 
We have a hard container, and our life has increased. We can now continue on to the game that's infused. Let's go! Let's get out of here!